So my name is Amy Yu, and I'm from Viacom, and I'm from a team called Audience Science. So how many of you guys have heard of Viacom? OK, great, good. Because I was about to say, you know, if, if you haven't heard about, about Viacom, we're not necessarily a household name, but if you've seen Arrival, if you've watched SpongeBob, if you've seen MTV, you know what we're about. And the audience science team at Viacom, what we do is we really want to transform the way that data science is being used across the business and to really make data science actionable so that we use advanced analytics and data to drive uh, the business decisions that are made to uh, change the next generation of media. So, so I want to start off by just setting the stage and talk about something that we are all aware of at this point, you know, a number of the speakers. Uh, have really honed in on the fact that data that we live in the age of big data nowadays. Uh, you know, every th single thing that we touch, that we like, uh, that we're that we're you know buying online, that we're watching, how we watch, where we watch, all of that, we're leaving digital traces of ourselves as we as we perform those actions. And in fact, in the time that you're spending staring at this slide, there's been four million likes added to Facebook. Maybe some of you guys here as well. Um, there's been uh, 700 uh, rides taken on Uber. There have been half a million swipes on Tinder. I don't know which which way, but hopefully the right one. Uh, and you know, it, you know, all of this data has really uh, pushed forward the uh, the era of data science, and that has fundamentally changed the content industry in a number of different ways. So the first piece is just around the content that we're exposed to and that we create. So the way that we think about original programming and the way that we think about content acquisition has really changed. And the iconic example, of course, is House of Cards and the way that Netflix used their streaming data to figure out that uh, you know, the 100 million bet that they were going to make on a David Fincher-directed US version of House of Cards starring Kevin Spacey was going to be the right bet for their audiences. Um, but you may not realize is that content acquisition is also a huge part of that industry as well. Uh, in the same year that they released House of Cards, they also spent around $2 billion to acquire content onto their platform. And you know, does anyone have a guess as to what type of data they use for their content acquisition? Anyone? Human data? Viewing. viewing data? What type of viewing data? Like watch the movie actors are, how long, how long it was watched, when it was stopped. Yeah, so par partially that, but also torrent data. So one of the biggest acquisitions that they made was actually Prison Break, and they used torrent data to inform that decision around putting it on their platform. So it's really interesting the way that data is changing the type of content that's being invested in and that's being produced. So the second piece is the way that audiences discover data, or sorry, discover content, and the way that we're uh, exposed to new content uh, on all of these platforms that we consume content on. So, you know, news is not just the front page of the New York Times when you wake up in the morning anymore, it's your news feed. You know, half of adults now actually get their news from Facebook, uh, for better or worse. Uh, at the same time, you know, your radio, it's not flipping on, you know, Hot 99.5 or whatever the radio station was that, you know, you would listen in on the car. Uh, you would, you know, it's your Pandora station, and it's being algorithmically driven by you know, who you listened to before and all of those digital traces of your, pre your past behavior. Um, and finally, TV. So TV is changing. You know, linear television, the world that we came from, you know, it's not just flipping channels and discovering content that way. It's being driven by you know, the recommendations in your Netflix queue, on your Amazon queue. And in fact, you know, on all of these OTT platforms, you know, three-fourths of user behavior is actually driven through recommendation. And so finally, it's also fundamentally changing the way that we think about our audiences. So similar to the way that you know, the microscope revolutionized the way that the field of biology worked and being able to really get to the cellular level and to that level of granularity uh, in that discipline, you know, data science has enabled us to really get more granular about our audiences in this multi-platform ecosystem. And we can think of our audiences not just in the traditional demos, but also think about you know, how our audiences are discovering our content and you know, the different types of interactions that they're experiencing uh, through all of these different platforms. So all of these shifts have created this huge appetite for data science. And you know, one of the things that we're trying to do is you know, data science is 
uh, increasingly becoming the core of some of the business decisions that are made about uh, media today. And so this is just a quick visualization of just some of the, of the things that you know, my, my team on a day-to-day -day basis is dealing with. So on any given day, we might be working with one of our programming teams to think about how to, uh, how to optimize uh, the scheduling and think, think about you know, how to optimize media plans with um, uh, our media planning teams. Uh, we also, are, you know, work with our marketing strategy teams and thinking about just our overall uh, content portfolio and how uh, how to better optimize, uh, you know, all of the new types of content that we're investing in. And you know, none of this, as you can imagine, is easy. And it's you know one of the reasons why I get to work with some of the best and brightest data scientists uh, in in the industry on my team. But you know. The pace of change in the industry and you know the the volume of demands has really outstripped our ability to just hire data scientists, and I'm sure you know everyone here can probably relate to that challenge. So the biggest question that you know this this team started really thinking about in in the past couple of years was you know how do we really scale data science to promote data driven decisions across the business, you know across both domestic as well as international. And one of the things that we started thinking about was just the way that we work with the different brand teams in the company, the different business units within the company. And one of the things that we realized was that we need to fundamentally just change the way that uh, the business side really interacts with data science. And you know, we've done a lot of projects around you know, um, thinking about recommendation for a particular brand, or thinking about programming strategy for a particular brand, or uh, thinking about content acquisition for a particular brand. But if you think about you know, all of these needs across all of the different brands, there's these patterns that emerge, and we really wanted to figure out a better way to democratize the way that this data and all of the advanced analytics that we're building is really accessible to our users. So what we wanted to do was create a self-service way in which uh, users would be able to access both the data and the advanced analytics that this team has produced. And we ended up taking a platform perspective to this and building an ecosystem of apps that allows business users across the organization to really access this, these advanced analytics at their fingertips. Because at the end of the day, you know, whether you're in marketing strategy, whether you're in programming, whether you're in scheduling, we want our users to have this type of experience where you know, wherever you are in the organization, you can go from looking at an Excel spreadsheet, which is, you know, that's probably what you look like when you look at an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, you know, going from that data to the insights, to, uh, to new ideas, and to actionable, uh, actionable results in a much quicker way and to really iterate through those cycles. So uh, in just the past year, you know, year and a half that I've been with the team, we've really undergone an organizational transformation in which we really grew from that core data science team to the, a data science product team. And what you see here, and what I'll demo for you in, a, in just a minute, is um, just a quick, uh, a, a quick demo of the platform that we have as an internal beta uh, that's available to all of our business users across the company, so you know, all 10,000 employees within Viacom are able to, you know, sign up for an account and access all of these advanced analytics. So when you log in, you know, you actually get a lot of dynamic visualizations, and we're building this ecosystem of apps where it allows you to trace audiences, you know, across time, uh, access, you know, things like the lookalike model that allows us to model how audiences, you know, move across long periods of time for for different events and different. Um, for uh, different programs, we can also look at you know where audiences move. You know what is that behavior? Um, you know as they're watching the shows, we can also look at program affinities and understand you know where are the white where's the white space in terms of creative, right? What what are the areas that our audience are interested in that we're not addressing through our content? So as you can see, the, the apps themselves are fully dynamic and they're fully self-service. So you know. Anyone, you know, whether it's a VP in marketing strategy, whether it's an analyst in research, they can access these apps and they can dynamically explore and really get to the insights uh, at their fingertips. 
And so I wanted to end the session with, you know, I know that there's a lot of different perspectives in the room and we all have dealt with data in some way, shape or form. And so I would love to use the breakout session to really compare some battle scars and, you know, talk about, you know, what have, what has worked uh, in terms of making data science actionable in your organizations and you know, how we can learn from each other and you know, think about ways in which we can build better, better tools for the future. So that's it, and thank you very much.